10,000 crore taka special government project for development and sustenance of agriculture defying depression caused by corona pandemic. Bongo Bundu and family members assassinated to kill Bangladesh's independence, says Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. Agriculture Minister urges spreading of non-communal culture among the new generation to create society vision by Bongo Bundu. COVID-19 global deaths top 8,42,000 amid France reporting record infections in a single day. And Canadian Milos Raonic meets Novak Djokovic of Serbia in men's single of Cincinnati Open tonight. Assalamu alaikum. This is Shamim Khan welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chart Program Center. Those were the headlines. We now move on to the news in details. The government has decided to shed additional fares for public transport from the 1st of September. The government hiked fares of public transports by 60% on the 1st of June as the transporters were advised to fill 50% seats of the vehicles to ensure social distancing and health safety to tackle coronavirus outbreak. Road Transport and Bridges Minister Badal Kadir said the government has taken the decision to go back to the previous fares considering all aspects and interests of people. Samogrik Polisiti Abon Jano Shatto Bibichonakuri Sheikh Hasina Shorkar Agami Poyla Septimor Hute Gono Puribone Ragid निदल तो बड़ा है फिर जवार शिद्दान तो नहीं है छे तब एक हफ्ते को एक टी शॉट तो संक्रिष्ट तो देर पुती बालों उठते हो बे गरों पुरी बोने जात्री चालो सुपरबाइजर चालो के शो करी टिकेट बिक्रेता शो संक्रिष्टो शकल के अविश्व मास पुरी दान को तो हो बे हाथ द्वार जन्नो पड़ जाते शबान पानी � हैंड सेनिटाइजर एक व्यवस्था करता होगे आशंकाओं का रोतरुकतो कुनो जाती पुरी बोन करा जावे ना और तार चौथोसी तो तो जाती पुरी बोन नीति का जो कार करता होगे कठोर होगे तारी ये जाती पुरी बोन करा जावे ना शास्त्रविधि में नहीं गाड़ी चलाते होगे नियम में ने एवं शर्तों में ने पुरी बोन चलानों जनो प आहोबान जाना चाहिए। आयन और मान नौकरी जान बावन है दूरदे। नियोमित और कार्यक्रम जोड़दारे। डीएफटीए के प्रायोजनीय और निर्देश ना दीच्छी। पश्चापशी हाईवे पुलिस, जिला प्रशासन, जिला पुलिस और संक्षिप्त दे ए बिशुटी कठोर भावे प्रतिपालनेर अनुरोध जाना चाहिए। the minister held a meeting with officials of Dhaka Road Zone BRTA and BRTC today through video conference over refixing of fares for public transports. Roads and Highways Division Secretary Nazrul Islam, the two chairmen of BRTA and BRTC, chief engineer of the Roads and Highways Directorate and other officials were connected on video platform. Government emphasized on development of agriculture sector with a view to continue running of the country's economy during the recession that started following corona pandemic. Agriculture Ministry to this effect has taken a project of about 3,000 crore taka. The money will be used for procuring agri inputs, especially various kinds of machinery. Farmers of the coastal and Hauer areas will get 70% incentive, while farmers of the rest of the areas across the country will get 50% incentive to buy agri-machinery. Experts say time and expenditure in agriculture will be decreased remarkably if proper machinery is used in this sector. 
They express hope that country's agriculture sector will be changed following proper implementation of the new project. Information Minister and Awami League Joint General Secretary Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said Bongumunda and his family members were killed in order to destroy the independence of the country. He was addressing a discussion marking National Morning Day at the central office of Awami League on 23 Bongumunda Avenue in Dhaka. Bangladesh Mohila Stromic League organized a program. President of the organization Suraya Akhtar presided over the discussion. Members of Parliament, Meher Afroz Chumki and Shamsu Nahar, Prime Minister's Special Assistant, Barrister Bipla Borua and General Secretary of the Organization, Rahima Akhtar Shati, also spoke. The Information Minister said, some disguised people of the country kill father of the nation, Bongo Mundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, on August 15 in 1975 to establish the ideology and spirit of Pakistan. He said BNP is now talking about human rights, whereas politics of the party is founded on killings and disappearances. Dr. Hassan Mahmoud also said that talks on human rights don't go with those who introduced the indemnity ordinance to stop the trials of killings. খুনের রাজনীতির মাধ্যমে তো বিএনপি প্রতিষ্ঠা তাহলেই তারা গলা ফাটাচ্ছে কি ঘুম খুব আমি একটু আয়নায় আপনাদেরকে নিজেদের চেহারাটা দেখার জন্য জিয়ারহমান বঙ্গবন্ধু হত্যাকাণ্ডের সাথে যুক্ত এবং বঙ্গবন্ধু হত্যাকাণ্ডের পর হত্যাকারীদের যাতে বিচার না হয় সেজন্য তিনি উনাশি সালের সংসদে আইন পাশ করেছিলেন ইন্ডেমনিটি আইন এবং খুনিদেরকে পুনর্বাসিত করেছিলেন সুতরাং খুনের রাজনীতির মাধ্যমে জিয়ার মাহমানের আবির্ভাব এবং ক্ষমতা দখল এবং রাজনীতি প্রতিষ্ঠা দুই সালে অপারেশন ক্লিন হার্ট পরিচালনা করে প্রায় একশো মানুষ হত্যা করা হলো এবং এই সমস্ত হত্যাকাণ্ডের বিচার হবে না সেজন্য ইন্ডেমনিটি দেওয়া হলো শুধু জিয়ার রহমান ইন্ডেমনিটি দিয়েছে তা নয় বেগম খালেদা জিয়াও অপারেশন ক্লিন হাটে যাদেরকে হত্যা করা হয়েছিল তাদের যাতে বিচার না হয় সেজন্য ইন্ডেমনিটি দিয়েছে In the afternoon, Information Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmood attended a discussion meeting at the National Press Club. Dhaka North City Unit Mukti Jodha Moncho organized the discussion meeting marking National Morning Day. Dr. Hassan Mahmood said the anti-liberation forces killed Bongo Bundu failing to face him politically. He urged all to be cautious about the anti-state conspirators. Former Member of Parliament Sabin Akhtar Tuhin and Major Retard Yoshimuddin, among others, also spoke on the occasion. Agriculture Minister Dr. Mohamed Abdul Razak has urged all to spread the culture of communal harmony among the new generation to build a society as framed by Bongo Buntu. He was speaking at a discussion on the speech of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at the Nolili Kanto Bhatta Shali Gallery of Bangladesh National Museum in the capital today. Harshu Muni Sparchala organized a program on the occasion of 45th martyrdom anniversary of Father of the Nation, Bongo Mundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and National Morning Day 2020. With President of Harshu Muni Sparchala, Maru Fakhtar Poppy, in the chair, Education Minister Dr. Deepu Muni, State Minister for Information M. Murad Hassan, State Minister for Cultural Affairs K. M. Khaled, and Director General of Bangladesh National Museum, Khandakar Mustafizur Rahman, also spoke among others. Speaker said, under the proper, competent and far-reaching leadership of Bongo Bundu's daughter, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh today is a role model of development in the world. 32 more COVID-19 patients died in the last 24 hours in the country, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 4,206. The recovery count rose to 1,98,863 after another 2,027 recovered during the period. A press release of the Director General of Health Services said this today. It said the tally of infections has surged to 3,8,925 as 2,131 new cases were confirmed in the last 24 hours. 
COVID-19 global death toll crosses 8,42,000 with more than 2 crore 49 lakh 55,000 infected. Meanwhile, 1 crore 73 lakh 38,000 people have recovered so far. The U.S., the current epicenter of the pandemic, now has 60,97,763 confirmed cases and 1,88,000 deaths. In Brazil, the total death toll in COVID-19 is 1,19,594, while over 38,12,000 people were infected. India, which is in the third spot in the list of nations, was hit by coronavirus, now has over 34 lakh. 74,000 cases and 62,837 deaths. Meanwhile, France has recorded its biggest daily rise in coronavirus infections since March as President Emmanuel Macron raised the possibility of another nationwide lockdown. Turkey said it will hold a military exercise of northwest Cyprus for the next two weeks amid growing tension with Greece over disputed claims to exploration rights in the East Mediterranean. The long-running dispute between Turkey and Greece flared up after two countries agreed rival accords on the maritime boundaries with Libya and Egypt and Turkey sent a survey vessel into the contested waters this month. Both sides have held military exercises in the East Mediterranean, highlighting the potential for the dispute over the extent of the continental shelves to escalate into confrontation. On Friday night, Turkey issued a NAPTEX notice, an advisory message to mariners saying it would be holding a gunnery exercise from Saturday until September 11 off Northwest Cyprus. Meanwhile, the European Union's top diplomat said on Friday the bloc was preparing sanctions against Turkey that could be discussed at a summit in late September in response to Ankara's standoff with EU member Greece. Now news on sports. Serbian Novak Djokovic will face Canadian Milos Raonic in the final of the Cincinnati Open men's singles tonight. The match will start at 11 p.m. Bangladesh Standard Time. Meanwhile, Japanese star Naomi Osaka withdraws from the women's singles final due to injury as Belarusian Victoria Azarenka takes the title at Flushing Meadows in New York. And now to end the bulletin, a recap of the top stories. Public transport to charge previous